Let's write the structural formula for 3-ethyl-3-methylhexane. So if we wanted to write the molecular formula or the chemical formula, that's C9H20. But that doesn't tell us how these atoms are arranged. So for that, we need the structural formula. When we look at the name here, the end of this is A-N-E. When we have it ending in A-N-E, that's an alkane. So we're going to have all carbon atoms single bonded and then surrounded by hydrogens. So we have an alkane and the hex, that tells us we're going to have six carbons. So let's start with a chain of six carbon atoms and they'll all have single bonds. So right now we have just hexane, six carbons, single bonds. That's our longest continuous chain. Now let's number the chain. So what we'll do now is we'll attach the substituent groups. On the third carbon right here, this is the third carbon, we have a methyl group. So a methyl group, that looks like this. Methyl group is just CH3, carbon with three hydrogens. So let's put a methyl group on the third carbon right here. On that same third carbon, we also have an ethyl group. Ethyl group, that's CH2CH3. So let's put an ethyl group on the third carbon here, and we're going to have to put it down here below. So again, the chemical formula, or the molecular formula for 3-ethyl-3-methylhexane is C9H20, and this is our structural formula here. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.